I'm 15 years old, and I'm the president of M3 Girl Designs. Hi, my name is Margot Bradshaw. I'm 11, and I'm the VP. Hi, my name is Diane Bradshaw. I'm their mom, and we don't need to disclose my age. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking for $300,000 in exchange for 15% of our company. M3 Girl Designs, a jewelry company for girls ages 8 to 80, started in 2006 when I was just 10 years old. The M3 stands for Maddie, Margo, and Mom. It all started when I was going into middle school and wanted magnets to decorate my locker, but I couldn't find anything that I liked. And in my house, if we can't find what we want, we make it. So I made my own magnets out of recycled bottle caps for my uncle's old-fashioned Coke machine. I drew up some really cool designs like peace signs, balloons, and flowers. I put them into the bottle caps and I attached a magnet to the back. My friends saw them, loved them, and started going crazy. So I figured I came up with a pretty awesome idea. So I eventually created Snap Caps, the original interchangeable magnetic bottle cap necklace. Thanks, Margo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go Mavs. Go Mavs. That's Mavs. what I like. <laughs> so I took my Snap Caps into a local toy store in Dallas, and I asked the owner if she would start selling them. Within two hours, they had sold out of all of our bottle caps and necklaces. And that's when my company, M3 Girl Designs, was born. I'm the vice president, and that means when the president goes down, the vice president has to step up. <laughs> you know, Maddie's going to college in a few years, and I'll, I'll have all of this to myself. <laughs> now that I'm 15 and Margo is helping me with snap caps, I decided that I wanted a new jewelry line geared toward my age group. So my mom and I created Spark of Life. Spark of Life is adjustable necklaces and stackable bracelets for kids and adults of all ages. Have you been selling these yet? We've been selling for about five years now, and we're in over a thousand stores. You're in a thousand Whoa. stores? We're wow. all over the nation. And what are your sales at now? Well, over the past five years, we've hit over five million. Whoa! Dang! All right, all right. That is, uh, that is awesome. Uh, I, you know, I think what, well, what's, what's most awesome about that is... You know, being inspired to, like, if I don't have it, I'm going to go make it. I'm going to create these things. And uh, and then having the tenacity to say, hey, let's let's see if we can go sell these things. And then to have the, that success, that spark, is just absolutely awesome to, to see and to hear. Obviously, this, this is from Season 3, Episode 5, way back in 2012 was when it, you know, so it was probably filmed in, it was in filmed in 2011 but um so it's been a number of years we're gonna follow up uh at the end here and and uh margo maddie and mom I'd, I'd love to have uh one or all three of you come on here for an interview so uh drop a comment down below and we'll make that happen but um yeah this it, this just is it's just so incredible going going from literally turning nothing into something and hitting uh five million dollars in sales over over it sounds like a couple of years is is that is definitely ding worthy uh anyway before we get to the end of the video uh go check out shop super you can get uh super apparel my books uh, master classes and more over there so go shop super that's not too shabby what were your sales last year our sales last year were about 1.6 million <laughs> and where were you selling what stores uh, we sell to specialty stores, so apparel stores, toy stores, a lot of large department stores. What was your profit? Um, um, one million. So, Maddie, you're a millionaire. I guess you could say that at 15. <laughs> wow. Uh, she's also an author. Mm -hmm. An author? What do you write? Yes. Um, I wrote my own book to inspire other kids to start their own business. Can I see the book? Yeah. How did you That's find awesome. these thousand retailers? Like, do you have a distributor? Well, we started off in just a few local stores in Dallas, but then um, we just were approached by more and more stores, and then we got a sales rep, and now I think we have about 10 reps. Uh -huh. Where do you make them? Do you make them all in your house? They're or? all handmade in our office in Dallas. Your first line, you said, was the bottle caps, and that's what's made for you the $5 million in sales, correct? Yes. And then... You are now going on with what you feel is for an older uh, yes. girl, a more mature girl. We're a company. We're not a one-hit wonder. So for us, it's always about introducing the next thing. What are your margins? Um, snap caps about 75 cents and um, Sparkle Life around $2. Good nice. margins. Who owns that business? I mean, structurally, do you guys all own it together? Yes, we do. Including the girls have ownership equity? Absolutely. One question that I think is important. I love that. 
this economy, jewelry has been a very tough sell. So how do you feel that that has affected you and your sales? It's a $10 piece of jewelry. Is everything at that price point around $10? The most expensive thing is $10. Hey, Maddie, why do you need the money? If you made a million dollars last year, you're asking for 300000 Am I missing something? Um, well, we want it for global distribution. We're looking for a partnership to take us to the next level. Wow. Okay, so that that's a um, that is a big ask. I mean, right? Like you're, you, you, I, and I think this goes to show for for any entrepreneurs watching, any super entrepreneurs watching right now, that you don't necessarily have to you you can do it yourself right like they, they're they're talking about like how do we go global distribution well i mean technically global distribution can just start in let's get into canada retailers let's get into mexico retailers i mean it's close enough i mean that starts to open up the the door on the, the whole global aspect of it right and then once you start to figure out the um because i mean there's there's all kinds of other rules regulations and things like that going into just those countries alone uh but at least they're cl they're closer to home you can ship a lot quicker you have e easier access and then start to figure out like okay what's the next steps i need to take to like get this across over the pond and get this into the uk where it might be really popular uh you know in the uk and and uh, the rest of europe and and maybe even start looking out, you know, then start looking elsewhere. I, you know, I, I think that sometimes maybe we get too like we want to go, go, go and like go as fast as we possibly can. Um, but, you know, not every aspect of a business is going to go that fast, especially when you start talking about selling into other countries and, and things of that nature. It's there's there's just. There's just so many things that you you just don't know, and if you start talking about like, well, let's take it from building them at our house to a manufacturer. Are we manufacturing them here in in, in the states? Or are we manufacturing them uh, in in like China or or another country? I mean, that's a whole other world of of uh, pain that you you can start to experience on. So um, I, I I feel like you know if if they're if they're able to you know. If they want, if they wanted to take it overseas, they could and lower that cost to the point where uh, they'll have even more profit available to them to afford to make those mistakes and and go from there. So I, I you know, I, I feel like uh, get, you know, giving up three hundred thousand. I mean, they're definitely. I think it's a it's a fair value. I just don't know that the percentage is going to be something that gets the the sharks uh, excited enough. So here's what I think. For 300K, I'd do a deal for 30%. There you go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. <laughs> what I would like to do is I would like to go in with Mr. Wonderful here. Ah. <laughs> and what? Yep. I'm going to go in with Mr. Wonderful. Are you Wonderful. okay, Lori? I, I, yes, I'm here. <laughs> I'd be happy to have your partnership I'd because like of your talents on television. I'd like to go in with Mr. Wonderful, except he needs to be a silent partner. And the silent starts now. <laughs> and See how what nasty I'm going she can to be? do... Well, before you guys decide anything... Well, hang on. Let's hear the offer. Let's hear the offer. Let's, let's hear, hear the offer. Okay. Right. noise over here. We're going to take 40%. I'm upping a little bit. Oh, I... Wait. There's always a catch. <laughs> but the catch is I am going to personally mentor you and help you get into QVC, into retail stores globally. I'll help take you everywhere because it is very difficult to get into QVC and even more difficult to stay on QVC. And I hope that together you will have hundreds of fabulous products. So Maddie, create. Maddie. All right, hold on a second there. So, I mean, that is, uh, there's definitely some, some strong bait going on. Uh, you know, ha having that, that mentorship is invaluable and, what I, but when you're in that situation where it's like, well, I mean, depending on what other offers are going to come through the door here, when you're in that situation, you need to, you know, really va uh, evaluate like what your worth is and what, you know, especially being so young, in, in, you know, at this point, right, and so accomplished as well, um, what your ability to say, 
you know, I, I look, I already have had, two, you know, I've had two hits. I mean, people, most people are lucky if they get one hit or even barely a hit, right, in their in their lifetime. So I've already created two hits. And I, and, you know, being able to bet on yourself to know, like, well, look, if this whole thing with Kevin and Lori doesn't work out, I know that I'm going to be able to go and, and, and find that next hit because I already have, I have a track record now. I, I didn't just have one. I didn't just have, I, I have two, but... I, I know that I can go and do that, and especially at such a young age, um, to be able to to walk into a relationship, a, a partnership with with two uh, incredible sharks, uh, is is phenomenal. So unless there's an offer that's better, um, and 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 I mean between the online sales and and the retail sales of of Lori and the QVC stuff, I, I think that they're you know it's a it's a really strong offer that I. I can't imagine she's going to come down, but maybe 35% and split between the two of them. There's a lot of hot air up here, but the end of all of that wonderful mentoring was a worse company. offer than Kevin. She wants 40% for 300000 Huge value. And think I gave about this. her my mentoring, which is invaluable, and my connection. And I'm going to get your costs down by at least 30%. I thought you were the silent partner. No, I'm going to make some noise about this. I think we can make these things for 30% less. So our margins go up, you make more money, and then you get that Ferrari even before you get a license. I agree. You know, you want to be her one day. There's no question about that. <laughs> what do you say to that offer? Hold on a second. That's some very uh, that's a that's a very bold statement there, Kevin, to be I to be projecting like that. I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that camera comment. But um but that is, I mean, it, 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 is it a worse offer? Because you're giving up 20 and 20. I mean, yeah, you're getting less money, but they don't really need the money. It's not about the money at this point in the, in the career, in their, you know, in the business's life cycle. I want to hear what else is on the table. Good answer. Especially from the Dallas man. Of course. <laughs> and Damon, our fashion guy. <laughs> well, let me clear the field. As painful as this may be for me to say, there may be some other sharks here that would be more beneficial for you. I'm out. Okay, thank you, though. Margo, you guys haven't heard from me yet, and yeah. that's intentional. Um, I don't want to do business with Kevin. It doesn't matter what you want. It's not your business. But Lori has some very specific advantages that she offers. So why don't Lori and I partner up? 40% is being a little bit greedy. I think we should take the offer back to 30%. All right, done. I'll yeah, do the deal with that's... Mark. Sorry, Mr. Wonderful. Oh. So the offer is that Lori and I partnering together for $300,000, the cash that you asked for, for 30% of the company. That That's our offer that I hope you take. But I want to feel that Maddie feels that this is a wonderful opportunity that's just come your way. I'm looking for that enthusiasm, that excitement. But we haven't heard from Robert either. No, I, what I'd like to speak, because I haven't finished. Well, hang on a second. Offer, you're not in this thing right now. <laughs> so, no, no, hang on. I am in this thing for what, a second. What do you want? I don't think Maddie wants to give up 30%. Correct. Correct. Yes. I'd like to say yes. a few things, things here. Here. Kevin. Shark, am I right what's or not? <laughs> am I right or not? Fight. What's your offer? Yes. Yes, that's the land of enthusiasm. Yes. yes, he hit it. Yes. Okay. Now, and then we're, we're wide open to a counteroffer. I have not had a chance to speak, and now I'm going to. First of all, I want to remind you of something. When you build a business like the learning company to a billion dollars and sell it for $4.2 billion, you learn a lot. So I'm saying that I should own a piece of this business for what I know, but I'm having trouble with the valuation metrics here because I'm also a very wise financial investor, and I know what you're worth. However, Mark dropped it down to 30%. To stay competitive, I would do that deal again. I drop it down, it's killing me to do it, I have to be honest. But I do it for 30%, not 40. And maybe, Robert, just to keep things interesting, if you really want to be part of this, include you as well. I'll come in on that offer. That is, that is crazy, having, the, you know, and I have two you know four sharks and 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 two of them wanting to partner up it really creates a, a you know a diverged road of like what you know what makes sense i mean what makes sense is working with Lori and and mark and they are already you know said that they're willing to come down i mean maybe if you want to squeeze an extra five percent 
you know, get down to, to, to 25%, maybe 20. I can't imagine that they would go down to 15, um, especially at this point when the, the you know, the, the, the floor has been set uh, in the room. As, with the exception of Damon, you have four people very interested. You pretty much get to write your own ticket. So why don't you tell us who you'd like to work with? Who do you want to work with? Tremendous amount of silence there. From, and Robert, he wants to work with. Who do you want to work with? Um, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what about me? Man, there's no secrets in the family. You're not in yet. We're not in yet. I love that. Mark is great. <laughs> it's a huddle. No. Oh, can you my sharks but we want robert Lori, and mark big mistake and at what percentage 20 percent. 20 percent. nothing Ooh. more nothing more nothing more mm, i think 20 percent is low yeah yeah it's maybe almost stick to the 30 percent yeah i mean you're each getting 10 percent you three sharks this is happens when you're the youngest. <laughs> okay, you have the offer on the table. What are you thinking, Maddie? 30%, but we want season tickets for Mavs games. <laughs> Good ones. Good, Good ones. ones. Margo, Good get ones. a pair for me. Ask <laughs> you can do it. Come on, Mark. You own the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy. I give you season tickets, but we're all sold out. But anytime you want to come sit in my suite and hang out, bring the whole family, bring friends, done. So, Mark, are you in? 300,000 to 30%, Robert, Lori, and I. Deal? Deal. 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 Done. Done. All right. Woo! Mark, I love the hot potatoes. Nice job. I got screwed out of that one. It ran you over, man. Ready? Great job. See you guys soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey guys. Great job. Thanks. Yeah. Amazing. Remember, this is all over bottle caps. It's awesome. <laughs> that 15 year old kid got $300,000 from Mark Lawrence. $300,000, tickets in a box, and ran over you like the flea bitten yeah. scurvy <laughs> dog you are. I'll get you back. Then. I know you will. Don't worry about it. Or at least you'll try. Good job, man. Good family. Good people. I can't believe that we got to pick our own partners. I never would have thought that that would happen. We, I thought we were going to be lucky enough to get a deal from one shark, and we got three with us. So that's great. I'm really excited. That is that is so awesome. Uh, you know, it, I mean, it so does not happen that way uh, almost ever. And I feel like it, maybe it was a little bit of a, uh, you know, because of the, the situation. Again, uh, Maddie, Margo, uh, Diane, I'd love to have you. you come on the show for an interview, talk about your Shark Tank experience, everything you've been up to since. Now, I did find uh, some articles. They they are no longer in business. They apparently uh, ran into uh, a bunch of lawsuits from knockoffs, which, look, when you're selling bottle painted bottle caps, uh, you're going to definitely run into uh, people who, who want to you know, knock it off. Uh, let's see. Although M3 secured an investment on the show, they later faced legal issues after claiming several companies were infringing on their trademark, despite not having uh, a trademark or patent. While some of the businesses they sued chose to settle out of court, they did have at least one trial where Maddie's claims of inventing bottle cap jewelry designs were called into question. Now that's that's from SharkTankProducts.com or all shark all, all yeah, I should say all SharkTankProducts.com. Uh, looks like Maddie's snap caps business soared to new heights after three sharks invested in the business. M3 Girl Designs was uh, e- even expanded the brand even further as the bottle caps. Uh, could be inserted into note cards, necklaces, journals, bracelets, hair bows, and other such items 
so you can start your very own collection. Not, uh, not only that, Maddie Bradshaw published her own book. They showed that on the show. Uh, in this, she covers that you, you know anybody could start a business and uh, with the, you know stories to inspire young girls and boys to start their own business. That being said, M3 Girls Designs were not all rainbows and butterflies. Maddie Bradshaw and Co. also experienced their fair share of trials and tribulations as the company got involved in three different lawsuits uh, related to trademark infringements. M3 Girl Designs was the defendant in one of those lawsuits while it was the plaintiff in two others. Unfortunately, none of the verdicts were in favor of M3 Girl Designs. Uh, uh, we'll discuss more on this on the show. In 2015, uh, Maddie decided to close down the company uh, to attend Stanford University. However, uh, she was set for life at that point as the entrepreneur had 5.2 million in lifetime sales. In 2019, she continued studying her master's education at none other than Harvard. Uh, now that we're in the midst of 2021, we all know that Maddie is now working on instructional technology uh, as an instructional technology coach at a private K through 12 prep school in Los Angeles called the Wildwood School. Uh, and it goes into more. I, I'll I can link these uh, these articles below. But when I googled it, uh, it did come up as uh, there's quite a few updates just this year, or well, I say this year, last year, uh, late late last year. So pretty cool to see. Again, I'd love to have uh, Maddie, uh, Margo, and and or uh, Diane come here on the show. Just leave a comment down below, like DeAndre said. This channel definitely makes business more fun and interesting. I appreciate you watching, commenting, having a great time learning with us. I got some things up my sleeve for the future here. In the meantime, I'll see you in one of these two videos right here. Take care.